Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. What is up? Ate one satisfying meal, topped it off with monthly measly dessert. Mr. Hot is speaking. Previously, there were several videos with Tar Tristar 2's back. Today, he is absent. Instead, we have our new spe our special guest of the day, Zach Attack Studios. Yo, what up? Yes, sir, we're back in action. And today's video is going to be our least favorite TV shows on his side of them. Okay. Now, this video, these sets of videos were inspired by Tyler TriStar 2 is back. But since he's absent, Zack Attack Studios will be helping helping out on this video with his with his points on why he dislikes these TV shows. We're going to be starting with TV shows we dislike a little bit to the TV shows we dislike the most. There will be more than one segment, which is the fancy term for parts, because parts are one four-letter dead word, to these videos. The ones with Tyler Tricer to his back, we'll get to once he's available, but... Let's begin with our least favorite TV show, starting with the ones that we dislike, but not enough to say that we hate them. All right, name one off, Mr. Zack Attack Studios, a.k.a. Zack Attack uh, 1001. Uh, Barney! Oh, <laughs> Barney the uh, Purple Dinosaur. Seriously, uh, a freaking T-Rex that's purple, singing to children... Seen a bunch of inappropriate baby songs that do, that show no educational value whatsoever, and causing disturbances to the neighborhood. Barney is 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 an evil monster in disguise. Don't do not think for one second or one millisecond that this dinosaur is intelligent nor helpful to the community. He is one threat to the community, and he poses one high danger if he is exposed to the to the world keep that dinosaur away from the city and make sure that dinosaur stays put in a jurassic era heck he belongs in jurassic park he does not belong in the 1990s and the 2000s and the 2010s keep him extinct and that is the best way to describe how troublesome barney is to the environment mr katalik you sir uh, let's see here. Oh, the Wiggles. That Australian band. A couple of their songs were okay, but that's it. Fruit Salad and, and Bound for South Australia were their only two okay songs. The rest of the songs stunk. Yes, they had the <laughs> accent, but they were they were they were being too goofy by singing a bunch of songs about a bunch of everyday objects that we see and touch. Is that necessary? No. Not unless the song's catchy. Oh, man. Not only that, but, like, the original members retired, and now they have new members. Did they have to retire this early? If they were doing well, yeah. why were they retiring? And why is it still called the Wiggles if they have new members? I know, like, come on. Nothing else to say about the Wiggles. Haven't seen it on TV before. At least the colors of them go well with them, but they're, they obsess too much on those few objects and don't get their point across. That's the problem. Yep. Uh, next TV show. Let's see here. Uh, TV show that we dislike but we do not hate. Uh, I'll come up with the next one. If you, don't, if you can't come up with it, I'll come up with it. Alright. This is not in the specific, or, the standard order, but they are, they are, there are categorized, these TV shows, FYI. Uh, let's see. Door the Explorer. Oh! <laughs> Seriously? Where is the river? Do you see the river? She stands uh, next to this geographic feature, yet she doesn't uh, she doesn't know that it's next to her. And she's asking us for help when it when it, it's one foot away from her. Now we'll be easy. We'll we'll get we'll cut slack on this TV show because it does bring back memories from 2012 and 2013 and 
it did it is a little old school compared to the other TV shows from from this decade and it has it, it still kept this feel to it but they patronized their audience too much and they're wasting 22 minutes when it could it could have only taken them 10 minutes to solve their mission But we're giving credit to this TV show because this TV show was a little catchy and it feels well to think about it since it's a little old school compared to other TV shows in, in its atmosphere and the way it feels when we're watching it. So yes, this TV show stinks and it is one of the most hated, it's one of the big hated baby, baby shows, but we're giving, but well, we're going to but it does earn a couple points because because of of its era and its and its efforts it's put on its TV. Mr. Katalik, your words on this TV show? Oh man, okay. The show brought back the show brings back memories, but like it's just so it doesn't stupid. It doesn't that well. Even if, we learned more in two weeks of Spanish class than watching that TV show for months in a row. Now, I haven't watched this TV show months in a row, but it's, it, it does not teach Spanish well because it teaches one or two words and doesn't bring them up enough. It should be bringing up these Spanish words constantly for the, for the viewer because the viewer is supposed to be learning Spanish. The viewer is not going to learn Spanish if it hears it once. It needs to hear it here at least a hundred times for it to burn in their brain, the specific word. <sighs> Uh, another TV show, Door and Friends, the spinoff. Oh, the one from 2014, the one where she's not seven years old but ten years old. How on oh. earth did she become ten years old all of a sudden? They did not explain her life when she was eight and nine years old. How did she get? How did she go? To, how did she end up in the city? Was she kicked out of the jungle? Did she kick, be kicked out of the open spaces? Why have they put her in an urban setting when she has not been in an urban setting before? And where'd she get these friends from? Ugh. At least, thank goodness, the, at least the Doherty sport from her seven years old, seven year age is finally over. But this TV show has, has much more explaining to do than it is explaining now. Ugh, man. This video's gonna go on for probably 15 minutes. We're gonna do a couple more segments of this. Not today, but on another day when we're free. Our schedules are free. Another TV show. Team Umizoomi. The theme song, the theme song is probably one of the worst theme songs in history. The characters, Millie, Geo, and Bot. They call a character Geo, yet he sucks at math. Millie, they're, they look similar to a bunch of mice, those two characters. And that rogue green friendly robot, he isn't eco-friendly. All he does is create a bunch of messes. This is probably one of the most boring TV shows to hit TV, period. Mighty Math Powers. Mighty BS. They're doing a bunch of adding and subtracting. That is not math skill. That is three-year-old math. That's preschool math. And they're not a team. They're a bunch of strangers who do not know how to do advanced math. Another TV. That TV show should have been saved for later, but it's too late now. That's another TV show we can think of. Go Diego Go. Oh, ew. So the spin-off of Doherty Explorer that's been that has ended for a while by today. Now Go Diego Go Stop Diego Stop. It sounds a little catchy in its name, but it, it isn't much different from Doherty Explorer. Except it's a male, it's Dora's cousin Diego is a male, and he's rescuing animals in a jungle. So he is in an open space looking for animals and has 
his own missions. Same, same idea as Doherty Explore, except different characters in different environments. That's it. TV show's long gone. Nobody's going to remember it in five years from today. See another TV show. Paw Patrol. Oh, man. The name Paw Patrol is a bunch of alliteration, but this TV show looks too bright. Oh, man. Sorry. A few technical difficulties in the middle of this video. We apologize for that. Good. Mr. Batalik? Yeah, I'm sorry. Right here. Sorry, we had technical several technical difficulties. We're almost done with the video, but the last TV show we're gonna bring up for this video is Paw Patrol. Ew. <laughs> Paw Patrol? They're not a patrol. How on earth is this? group of animals, a team, or a patrol. They do not deserve the entitlement of being called the patrol. They do not rescue lives, and they do a bunch of silly activities all day. That's it. And they're calling themselves a high-ranked group, group in their community. They do not deserve to be called what they're called. Screw Paw Patrol. Ew. We don't know much about the TV show, but it's best not to. It's a bunch of silly animals that go on silly adventures and do not accomplish much at all, except weakening themselves. Oh, that's all there is to say for this. Segment 1, our, our least favorite shows fe featuring Zach Attack 1001. Last thoughts, mis last words, Mr. Katalik, before moving on to segment 2? Oh, uh, let's see here. Nope. Alright, we'll be coming up with more TV shows for segment 2. And this is, and by the way, this is to celebrate the end of 2016, the most boring year we've experienced. That's all we're just saying yeah. for this video. See you in the next video. Peace out. Good night.